Had my back. And all is as it should be. Miss Maximov acquitted herself with aplomb, as did you and Miss Rasputin. Are you concerned about Mephisto? <laughs> no more than any other day. Hunter, that was yours. You kids actually did it. Agatha's back. This place already feels more lively. So to speak. I just keep going over it again and again. It still doesn't make sense. Do you think we could try and talk to Johnny? Maybe I can try to help. I I can't thank you enough. And I'm certain I will over the coming days. But right now, do you mind terribly if I catch up with the love of my life? And afterlife. Don't make me haunt you. Our bells are ringing. <laughs> My favorite childhood prank. But I have not heard them in so long. Caretaker must be wincing right now. <laughs> or maybe this was her idea of a joke. <laughs> in this place are something else. Did you know that there is an entire section about spiders in the occult? Peter, I am sorry you have to find out this way, but I guess it is time we talked. You're not afraid of spiders, are you? <laughs> Terribly. But you're Hunter. THE Hunter. You're not afraid of anything. I am a complicated being. Huh. Is the legs, the crawling, the knowledge that the entire spider population can eat all of humanity in a year given the chance? Or is it because there is one just six inches away from you right now? What? Where? Just kidding. It's me. Actually, all this reading got me thinking, and there is something I wanted to run by you. 
with my spider roots and the spiders being so occult adjacent, apparently, who knew, I can maybe be a good fit for the Midnight Suns. I'm not asking you to pull any strings for me or anything like that. I just want your honest opinion as a friend. Do you think I'd make a good candidate? For now, you should focus on being the best you can be in every situation. And when this is all over, we can talk about your future. Of course, of course. Either way, I would like a chance to prove myself first. Don't want anyone to say that you're giving me any special treatment. Well, I am sure you can figure out how to make that happen. One last question. Yes? If I read these books here, I'm not summoning any demons or evil spirits, right? Have you been reading them aloud? No... Do not open your door to any knock that sounds unnatural or inhuman, and you should be fine. No inhuman knocks. Got it. They put her in shackles and dragged her to the courthouse. Sure, they were going to take the torch to her. Or the news. But Agatha's not the kind of witch that would let herself burn. No, she's not. So, how did she get out of being another victim of the wild imaginations of superstitious villagers? She's too- Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Some creeps just don't stay in the past. Seeing Agatha again gave me the warm and fuzzies, even though I could sort of see through her. Coil. Let's get to work. Sometimes I even impress myself. You wanted to speak? I see you, Hunter. I notice what you've been up to. And what have I been up to, exactly? Bad things. Very bad things. The worst. You should see the look on your face. I meant that in a good way. You're embracing the darkness, more and more every day, owning it, but not letting it own you. And more importantly, you're proving to be quite a good... friend. I am touched and honored to be considered a friend to you, Iliana. Just don't let it go to your head. For years in this realm, I felt out of place. I was a sorceress who used the darkness within her for the cause of light and life. No one understood me, and most people were terrified. Then I met the Midnight Suns, and they showed me how to make a home in this world. It never felt right for a bad girl like me to fight with the good guys. Until you showed me how. You have shown me a lot, too, Ileana. Perhaps, but I haven't told you everything. My time growing up in Limbo was difficult. The creature who brought me there... Mephisto? The very same. He sought to blacken my soul with corruption. Forced me to hurt. To curse. To kill. I hate what he did. What he made me do. But, without it, I am not the person you know, and I would never have met you. 
Am I a monster for being grateful it happened as it did? Of course not. A terrible creature inflicted pain on a friend of mine. Worse, he made her think it was her own fault. It was my fault. He was always the monster, Ileana. Never you. That is what I see. I do not agree. But I trust you. I shall consider what you said, okay? Okay. Thank you for listening to me, friend. playbook. Practice makes perfect. Not everyone wants my advice. Ready for more? Do this. Tussle with me now. Yeah, I guess it is a tough decision. Yeah, just sit back. Always improvements to be made. me feeling ready to go. Later. I took care of that, Rio. What's the latest intel? We'll cut through that encryption in no time. Well, this was education. We're ready to make a move. I think I can handle that. Thanks, Hunter. I spent some time decrypting the data drive Crossbones gave to Cap. I hope it gave us good information on Hydra. He gave us good intelligence, all right. But it's not about Hydra. It's about us. Take a look. He had files on all of us. 
Cap, me, Stark, Blade, Magic, Nico, everyone. Strengths, weaknesses, mostly weaknesses. We can use this information to fix our deficiencies. Whatever he viewed as a weakness, we can make into a strength. I like the way you think. Now I just need to convince Cap that distributing these files to the team is a good idea. This isn't even all of it. There's a whole other section, but I can't access it. More encryption? Multiple layers of it. I could probably get it, but it'll take me a while. Cap could make this go a lot quicker. Where is he? I'm surprised he is not going over these files with you. He was with me when we first unlocked the drive. He was already agitated from Crossbones' death, but I think seeing what he had on us really set him off. He excused himself in a hurry. Now I need him back. I will find him and convince him to come back. You do not have to worry about that. I have no doubt you can be most persuasive when you want to be, Hunter. Was there... Anything about me on that drive? Strangely, no. Not a word. Odd. I'll keep trying to break this code while you find Cap. Ready to work? Do your thing. Not even my weirdest magical ritual. Note for next time, if anyone else has any open grievances with demonic entities, please speak up before the sale. Steve, Carol needs your help decrypting Crossbones files. <laughs> it figures she'd send you. Did she tell you I want nothing to do with it? Because I still don't. Those files he had on the team are disturbing. If you need to take a moment... That's not why I left. It was something Crossbones said. The old man. He was talking about my greatest enemy. Who? The Red Skull commanded Hydra during the war. Obsessed with the occult. You think the Red Skull had something to do with those files? I'm certain. One file is called Project Gutmorder. A classic name for a Red Skull terror weapon. Rumlow wants... Wanted me to use the tools of my oldest enemy to defeat the newest. I won't give him the satisfaction. You are looking at this the wrong way. How do you think I should see it? Crossbones made a point of drawing you to him. Then he found a way to get close to you. In the end, he turned on Lilith. He gave those files to the only person he could trust to put them to good use. That's an interesting theory, but I won't give Rumlow the benefit of the doubt. That is not your call to make. You helped put me in charge? Now trust me to do my job. Well, I guess you have been paying attention. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, huh? <sighs> I'll talk to Carol and do what I can. Thanks for helping me work through this, Hunter. Of course.
My turn.
champion, Iron Man. So we need it. in practice. Cool. Hope you guys enjoy this midnight sun stuff. I had fun playing this.
Hunter. Hey! I wouldn't have guessed we'd become such fast friends, Hunter, but I welcome your company. I must confess, the loss of the Sanctum Sanctorum has deeply affected my focus. For the first time in quite a while, I can feel a sense of mourning. Sentimental, I know. But I cannot shake the sense that life as I know it has changed for the worse. You are the Sorcerer Supreme. You can rebuild. Your faith in my capabilities is misplaced, but appreciated. Tell me, Hunter, if Lilith's forces captured the Abbey, if they prevented your return home, what would you do? Lilith does not belong in the Abbey. We kicked her out once, we would just do it again. A confident boast, but Lilith's power far eclipses your own. How could you possibly evict her? By relying on all of you. I see. Thank you, Hunter. You leave me with much to consider. Joy to spend time with you, Hunter. It's been so long since I've prayed. It has been a while since I have seen you here, Sarah. I guess when you live forever, places of worship take on a different significance. <laughs> it doesn't seem so important to turn to a high power when you're not faced with the inevitability of death. But now, death, to even us immortals, is becoming an inescapable inevitability. <sighs> so here I am, asking for guidance. But the Elder Gods are long gone. Only whispers of their power remain. So I've been sitting here quietly, trying to listen to whatever advice they have to offer, if any. They would want you to have faith that we can get through this. What? Like wait for a miracle? No, Hunter, that will not do. Sometimes I think you rely too much on the powers of light your ancestors gifted you. But what we need right now is swift action. Perhaps I should be asking Agatha. She would know better than I on what to do. Her spirit has only made herself known for one night, and she's already done more to heal the wounds of this team than I have in six months. Do not be so hard on yourself. You have been focused on the mission. Yes, but I feel like I've neglected the well-being of my team. No, Sarah. You have been keeping us alive. There will be plenty of time for more healing after we defeat Lilith. I do hope we get that chance. If we survive, I hope to learn more soft skills from her. She was always the more maternal one out of the two of us. I will not argue with you there. Well, I should leave you to your prayers. Let's hope someone answers them. Thank you, Hunter, but I'd like to be left alone to my thoughts now.
I almost sent my astral form to cover more ground. That means you were trying to ghost me? <laughs> I caution against speaking in modern vernacular as it rapidly evaporates from the pool of youthful lexicon. Then magic will say you are uncool. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Our last conversation afforded me valuable insight into my current state of being. Your continued confidence and honesty with me have rekindled some of my own belief in myself. The Sorcerer Supreme is a role only one mortal in a generation can hold. Fancy titles impress the illusion of rank upon the world. But that's all it is. A name for one who understands much, and yet so little at the same time. I am merely a man with a very useful set of skills who worked to fill a niche. I will light a beacon every step of the way. The doubt never crossed my mind. You have my gratitude, Hunter. Perhaps the Sorcerer Supreme could conjure me up an ice cream cone? Due to Stark's contractual obligations, I can only offer Avengers-themed flavors. Nobody needs the caloric marvel that is Hulka Hulka burning love. A single scoop is a meal unto itself. Hunter, no matter what the outcome of our struggle is, you have not given up on me. That is a bond that carries beyond words and worlds. Ah, some light cut. Now, what are you up to, Ileana? Being bored out of my mind. Why not try to make new friends? I've already done the play nice thing with the X-Men. Not trying to buddy up to everyone here. You have buddied up with Nico just fine. That's different. I trust her. Did you like any of the X-Men? I liked the ones who didn't force small talk with me. So that means you made at least one companion. <sighs> Fine, yes. Her name is Kitty. She was my roommate for a while. Sharing a space kind of forced us to get to know each other, but she made it feel natural. I am glad you have people you allowed into your life. A little sappy, but thanks. Thank you for the quality time, Hunter. It is a treasure to me. A 
successful collaboration. Are there any curses I should be aware of? An excellent... Shh, 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 shh. Tony is working. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Sometimes, I even impress myself. I'm happy to help, Hunter. Time, everybody. Let's do this. Evil doesn't take time. Neither should we. Don't tell me. Red Skull's plans for Wendigore Monorail. Close. Red Skull dug them back in World War II, but where they go, well, we're not sure. Yet. There are some hints in Crossbones' data that a few of the tunnels might even be older. How much do we trust Crossbones' data? I trust it enough to investigate and launch reconnaissance. Up for a little smash and grab, Logan? Ah, uh, I see where this is going. It's a cannonball special. Except that you're throwing me at a whole mountain. We know you're strong enough to take it. Want in on the action, Steve? Negative. I need to poke around Crossbone's hard drive. There's still encryption I can't crack. Maybe it's spicy love letters from Crossbones to Sin? She's Red Skull's daughter or granddaughter or something. Anyone sharing a family tree with Red Skull is bad news. Dating Crossbones is proof of that pudding. That's right. I wonder what kind of murder sonnets those two deranged lovebirds wrote to each other. But while it would make some titillating nightmare fuel, we have bigger fish to fry. And it's a big old doozy of a fish. Something called Project Gottmorder. Based on my limited German, that sounds promising. Agreed. Only it could be nothing. Red Skull doled out fancy names left and right. I think the answer's here, in Crossbones' okay. data. What we do know is that these tunnels go somewhere. And Hydra's hiding something. Something potentially big. Well, that's more context than I normally get for potential suicide missions. Into the Hydra nest we go. Hope you're not a... Dirty hunter. I will do as you wish. This is definitely the coziest war room I've ever been in. Quiet, too. I'm here if you need me. If we're really going into those tunnels underneath Mount Wondagore, get ready for some good old-fashioned grime and slime. Are you saying the Red Skull did not value comfort? The guy was a Nazi whose head was the color of an inflamed big toe. I doubt he was trucking in lacy throw pillows down there. I will adjust my expectations. The map we have is pretty loose, but luckily, you're gonna have me leading the way. So don't worry about getting stuck or lost. 
If you are confident you know where to go, then I will be right there beside you. Smart hunter. Real smart. Trust me and we'll get in and out of there before Hydra knows what's up. With any luck, we will learn the Skull's secrets quickly. Yeah. It'll be good to see what the old bonehead was up to. You talk as though you knew him. It's not like we traded punches or anything, but I was in Canadian intelligence during the war. The Skull was definitely on our radar. As nasty as you'd expect. Obsessed with the occult. And this Project Gottmorder? That's new to me. Hopefully it lives up to its name. I'd hate to go all the way down there and find out it's just a regular old mortar. I am not in the mood to joke with you, Logan. Yeah, no worries. I do this to entertain myself. You don't have to listen. Even though I'm hilarious. Truthfully, the gut mortar makes me nervous. Whatever it is, I hope we can get it out of there. I don't want to spend more time in those tunnels than I have to. On that, we can agree. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I tell you, there's nothing better than a bunch of spooky tunnels. It's an odd change of pace, but you're going to have to protect that Hydra equipment rather than destroy it. Don't waste any time. Take them out before they can do any serious damage. Those soldiers are targeting the device. Do whatever it takes to stop them. It's a good bug. That's a neat trick. Oh! 
monsters our number. the wrong neighborhood, bub. I'm saving my energy so we need to Hope Hydra has good insurance. Let's do it. Want it done right, gotta do it yourself. About time. Getting it done anywhere you know how. This shouldn't take long. That's one hell of a move. Soon we will be nervous. Yeah. 
Incoming Hydra. You know what to do. Now it's my turn. Maybe it's time you quit this racket. Just have to get through me. Good. I could use some more practice. 